yeah. talking of the three piece in the soda, um, he's kind of said if you invade his personal space yeah. in the lead up to this fight, that you'll be the recipient of that. And what's yeah. your response to that? Yeah, he's an idiot, and I will happily stay away from him. I try to. I'm getting paid to fight him on July 6th. He can punch me all he wants in that 15 minutes. And if he has so little control over his own emotional state, then I'll give him his space. That's fine. Where do you think the animosity comes from, or Paul K towards yourself? I, I don't really know where his animosity comes from, but a, again, um, listen, I don't want to get that close to him anyways. If he has, if he has that many mental issues where he has to fight someone anytime they say one bad thing about him, uh, life's going to be long and hard for him. Um, but you don't see me getting all mad and upset. He, he's the one getting all mad and upset. I mean, last week, he's so dumb, he went as far as saying he wanted to end my bloodline which I thought was hilarious because unless he was planning on putting hits out on all of my children, it's impossible for him to do so. So, like, you're so mad that you say something so insane. Uh, obviously, I'm, like, digging underneath his skin. And I, I don't really know why because I haven't really said all that much bad about him besides I handled him one time in a workout session in 2009. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very far in his head and under his skin, and I don't really know what his problem is. Uh, UFC 239 will be full and utter domination by me. This three-piece and soda thing really took off, and I was just wondering if, if you felt like that was, that was a good line, or is he getting a little bit of credit that maybe he didn't deserve? Um, I think it's probably to the thing where he didn't know what he was saying. You do give him credit, okay. Sure, why not? Okay. I mean, is he, is he intellectual, and is he funny on a regular basis? I would say the answer to that is no. Mm -hmm. So you think it could get physical before the fight? Yeah, they need to keep the idiot away from me. I mean, I'm, I'm paid to fight in the octagon, and we can do it for 15 minutes. And I don't want any, any chances that he's going to do something stupid before the fight and ruin it. Huh. That is a, is a concern of yours that he would actually do that. Yeah, he's that dumb. He's that dumb. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? Ben? How do you beat him? Any way I want. But how do you think? I dominate him whole time. Finish him? Possibly. Can't guarantee that. Well, I got a question. All these reporters ask me why you're so mad. I'm kind of curious. You are mad. Yeah. You can't stand me. Why not? No, I was with you. I said I was busy. I just asked you. Come on. Answer, answer all that. Why are you so mad? Why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? Why are you mad, bro? Please welcome! His muscles aren't very big and his beard's pretty ugly. But besides that, I think it's gonna be total domination. I'm happy I'm gonna get paid to correct that mistake that it's been asking, man. So I'm just gonna have fun out there. I'm gonna put a show for you guys, man. Enjoy your night, everybody.
five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel Mosby. I really don't got nothing nice to say about the dude, so I don't want to talk about him too much, but just his skill set is not my skill set, you know? That was just to check him real quick, let him know how frick you can't be shooting, but if he had survived that, we were ready to whip him for 14 minutes and 30 seconds till I would have ended him, because that's what I really wanted to do. Like I said in every interview, I wanted to beat the crap out of him. I come from a hostile place. I, I love hostility. I deal with it real well. You want to leave me in my own lane. You don't want me to, to get woken up and, and take my frustrations out on you. I've been doing this for 16 years. I'm starting to get the recognition now from my hard work. And um, I just thank God, man. The journey's been such an amazing one. Man, where the f*** been at, man?